Greetings in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. My name is Gary Naraki, and it is my privilege to provide pastoral leadership to the Church of the Nazarene in Nanaimo. Prior to COVID-19, there were many activities at our church, much like the rest of the churches on the district. Weekly worship gatherings, Bible studies, prayer groups, senior ministry, ladies' ministry and men's breakfast, children's church, and youth activities. Our work and witness team started to research the next project, and a new group called our Dream Team discussed and explored ideas of how to reach young adults in the community and possibly plant a work in the south end of our city. The success of these ministries was often measured by how many showed up and what was the spiritual impact these meetings had on those who came. By both criteria, things were going well at the church, and we were looking forward to continued growth and outreach to the community. If it is true that people invest their money in what they believe in, then our congregation was all in, as they were incredibly faithful and generous in their giving. Then came COVID-19, and suddenly we could not gather. Like every other church on the district, we mourned the ability to see each other face to face, to share hugs and handshakes, to sit down and enjoy meals together. Suddenly, our only connection was a live stream service and Zoom gatherings. It seemed so impersonal. But the people started to realize that phone calls, emails, cards, and walks with others made a huge difference. People started to connect to new people and they started to invite their friends to join us online. So people from Vancouver, Abbotsford, even Texas started to join our Bible studies. Our worship service has been viewed by people as far away as Cambodia and the Philippines. God had prompted us to start live streaming our services a year ago, so we had a head start when this was our only way to send out the services. Learning to do ministry online has been a challenge, but thankfully, God keeps sending the right people to help us learn the next thing we need to do to be more effective in our outreach to others. Meanwhile, the seniors kept ministering to each other. The youth started an alpha course. The children were sent learning packets, and families were encouraged by the board members. The work and witness team continued to communicate with the project coordinator in Guatemala, and the dream team met to plan how to continue to minister in this new climate. When a call from Enoch T came that children were starving in the Philippines, the church quickly raised $7,200 to help the churches ministering there. Essentially, we were the same people as before COVID, and God was continuing to work in and through us. So what I'm saying is that the Church of the Nazarene of Nanaimo is still growing in the grace of our Lord Jesus, ministering to others and seeking the direction of the Holy Spirit on how to impact our community for Christ. The only change is that community is no longer defined by what is happening in the building, but now reaches far beyond the horizon of our vision. Personally, I am stretched these days to do things I am not familiar with. I quickly tire of screen time as I prefer face-to-face -face encounters. I miss the chance to visit at hospitals and senior homes. And of course, I would love to have an audience I can see when I'm preaching. But the Lord is constantly there to guide me and help me do the new things in this new climate. The quiet times in the morning have become more important as I need to find my bearings before the day begins. My discipleship partners are more valuable than ever, and the fellowship of other pastors is essential. Thankfully, Zoom has allowed pastors to gather in new ways across the city, across the district, and across the nation. I am grateful to the Lord for my wonderful partner in life, my wife, Lise. These have been challenging days for her as well, but God is giving strength for each new day. We are blessed to be isolated on an island with such a great church family. I conclude with a promise and a blessing from God himself. Now to him who is able to do infinitely more than all we ask or imagine, 
according to his power that is at work within us. To him be the glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations, forever and ever. Amen. Respectfully submitted, Gary Naraki.